Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about precedence and associative. So now before that, we are going to see one question. If I ask you that, what is the answer for 10 plus 20? Then, so directly you are saying that the answer is 30. If I ask that 10 plus 20 into 2. Now, so what is the answer? Some member says that 10 plus 40 equals to 50. Somebody says that 30 into 2 equals to 60. Okay, here we got two types of answers. So why? The first one is simple expression and the second one is complex expression. That means in simple expression, we have only one operator. But coming to complex expression, we have more than one operators. If we have more than one operator in an expression, then how we can solve this? So for that, we need precedence and associated. So precedence is nothing but for which operator you are going to give precedence here. So precedence is used to determine the order in which different operators in a complex expression are evaluated. That means if you have any complex expression, then what is the order of execution? Here, so 10 plus 20 into t. Here, 10 plus 20 into 2. So first you are going to evaluate 10 plus 20 or 20 into 2. So that is a question. So for that, we are going to follow the so precedence rule. So this is the precedence table. Okay, we have different types of operators. So all these are the operators available in C programming. Okay, so now if more than one operator is encountered in your expression, then you are going to follow this table. Okay, the precedence is high to low. That means the highest precedence goes to so brackets, so membership operators and so plus plus minus minus so post increment and post decrement. If so these are the operators are in your expression then you are going to execute first these operators. So next precedence goes to unary operator plus minus not complementary plus plus minus minus is pre increment and pre decrement and time and size of. So next one multiplicator. Next addition and subtraction. Next shift operator. Next relational operator. Next equality operator. Next bitwise and bitwise XOR, bitwise R, logical and logical R, and conditional operator, and assignment, and the least precedence goes to comma. This order we are going to follow when you are going to evaluate the so complex expressions. Okay, that means now you can answer this. So 10 plus 20 into 2. So what is the answer here? Highest precedence goes to multiplicative. That means first you are going to perform multiplication. So 20 into 2, 40. 10. 10 plus 40, 50. So 50 is the answer. I hope you all are understand what is precedence. So precedence is nothing but this is used to determine the order in which different operators in a complex expression are evaluated. Now, I ask another question. 10 asterisk 2 by 5. Now, what is the answer? First, you are going to evaluate 10 into 2 or 2 by 5. So, based on the precedence, so these two belongs to same group. So, both have same precedence, same importance. Now, you are going to follow associativity. Associativity is used to determine the order, the order in which operators with the same precedence are evaluated in a complex expression. So, what it means, if both the operands have same precedence, then you are going to follow so which order that we can know with the help of associativity. That means, your asterisk and division, that means multiplication and division have the same precedence so you are going to follow the associativity so left to right left to right that means first you are going to perform so 10 into 2 that means 20 
by 5 then 4 so this is the answer okay i hope you all are understand precedence and associativity here the associativity so for post with expressions left to right for unary operators right to left and many of the operators follow the left to right except unary so conditional and assignment for these three operators you are going to follow so right to left associated for remaining operators you are going to follow left to right